Hi, Miss Sunny. How are you doing today? You want some treats? I bet you do. All right, Miss Sunny, here you go. You get it? All right, nice work, honey. Nice job. Now, guess what? Now it's just treats. Here you go. You get that? Hey, Sunny Butt. Nice job. In case any of you are curious, like I said in the last video, while she was in the hospital, she was moving out into the hospital cage, which is what she's in right now. So this is not her permanent enclosure, but just while she is uh, recovering from her procedure that she had in the hospital, she'll be in here. I believe it's for 10 days, so probably eight or nine days from this point on. But Sunny is doing great, as you can see. I got a whole pound right here of some turkey. And it's cut up nice and small for her. And she's chowing. Miss Sunny. Nice job. You got that one? There you go. Here's another. You're probably halfway done, Sonny. You're doing great. You got that? You're killing it, Sonny. Probably about another quarter left. So maybe ten or so pieces. And then you'll be all done. And as you can see, Sunny gets, <laughs> she gives you her mad face if you don't go fast enough. She's like, I see you fumbling with the pieces over there. Hurry it up, man. I'm hungry over here. And you're doing so good. I'm glad you're hungry, Sunny. I'm glad it's not the opposite. All right, this is the last piece, Sunny. It's a good one. You ready? Here you go. Nice job, Sunny. Hi, Mr. Hoof. How you doing today? He actually just came running over. So I take it, he's hungry. Nice job, who? Here you go, Mr. Hoover. Here's another good piece. Just swallow that for me. Nice work. You got that? Nice. Nice work. How about a piece of turkey? I said, yeah, I'll take some of that. I want to say I have close to nine, maybe ten pounds. So if he eats all of this, he's definitely going to be a full boy. The only issue is some of these pieces are kind of small. Here's another. Nice. But here's another. Here you go. Now he's almost cleaned his bucket here. I do have a little extra mini bucket that I brought that was full of pork in, in case uh, he didn't want any of this chicken stuff. Which I'm obviously going to give him once he finishes his bucket. As long as he wants it, that is. Oh man, he's getting up. Mr. Hoover, just as I say that, he's like, you know what? I think I'm full. But he pretty much cleaned his entire bucket. So I'd say probably eight, seven and a half pounds, maybe closer to eight. 
But that's great. I'll see you later, Hoove. Have a good one. How are you, Tut? Are you doing good today? Well, guess what, Tut? I have lots of treats for you today. Are you excited? Let me just pop that in for you, Tut. Watch your face. And let me spread it apart. Alrighty. And Tut is getting meds tonight, and he's also got some mush in there, and then some red. And I put his meds in mush the last time, so that's what I did again today. And that's something I never thought I'd be saying, at least for Tut, because Tut used to hate mush, and he would never touch it. But for whatever reason, probably just because he hadn't been eating it for a while, we gave it to him again, and he absolutely loves it now. So I'm hoping he's going to eat it, and obviously take his meds again like he did on Thursday. But we'll just have to wait and find out. So I'll see you later, Tut. Make sure you eat that for me, okay? And Perfection wasn't in her den again today. She must have been in her other den. <laughs> or I should say, she wasn't in her normal den. But I did pop in her food. She's got some cut up pieces of red, which she's eating right now. And she's got a nice ball of mush behind her as well. <laughs> That's a big bite, Perf. That's a really big bite. In the last video, you guys all really seemed to enjoy seeing Perfection. So, here she is again. And she is definitely known for taking her big bites. You guys always seem to say that in the comments. How big her bites are. Just like that. <laughs> probably eat half the ball there. And there's the other half. She'll probably take one more big bite and finish it. Just like that. Alright, I'll see you later, Perf. Good job. Mr. Simba! Yeah, that's you. That's you, Sim. And I do have meds for Simba today. So we are going to do that piece first. And you're going to be a good boy, right, Simba? You're not going to swat it. You're just going to just going to bite it. All right, bud. Here you go. You get it? Oh, he bit into it. He's never done that to me before. Well, I think I'm going to have to restuff that and try again. All right, so now I've restuffed, restuffed it in another piece of pork, so let's try that again. And just like that, he took it. Nice work, dude. Now, since he was so good with that, that was a first, though. I've never had him chew it out or taste it. So now we're just going to put his food in. <laughs> and as usual, he makes all the noises, which everyone seems to love. He's got a bunch of red in there, a little bit of pork, and then some mush as well. And for anyone that is new, mush is the ground up insides of a cow, so it's their organ meat. So it's all the healthiest bits. Instead of just giving them steaks and chicken breast all the time, we give them the organ meat. It's just like us, us uh, eating our vegetables, so it's very healthy for them. I don't know if you could actually hear that, but it sounded like there was a woodpecker somewhere hitting on a tree. I'd be impressed if you could hear it, though. But as soon as he finishes up with this, I'm going to take that tray out. He always loves to try and keep it, but he can't. We don't want to risk him eating that. All right, you done? I need that back now. Oh. <laughs> All right, go work, Simba. Oh, yeah, there's one more piece there. You found it. All right, see you, dude. Hello, Mr. Lakota. How are you doing today? You feeling all right? Well, guess what? I have some treats for you. Last time you almost just ate these... As I was dropping them, as you're kind of doing right now, okay. So that was, a, that was a decoy. Here's the meds piece. Did you get it? You did. Very good job. Now you can just have a bunch of treats. Wow, he literally just caught it in his mouth. Hello, Diablo. How are you doing today, my man? I am giving Diablo his meds and a chick, so if you do not want to see that, definitely look away.
Is that a good chick, Mr. Diablo? And it's very nice of him. He's actually eating it right in front of us. Normally, he just takes it and runs away. Got one more little bit there. I'd like you to eat that. All right, nice job, dude. Very nicely done, Diablo. I'll see you later. Hello, Mr. Dez. How are you doing today? I got quite a bit of treats for you today, if you're interested. That was a blank. Now I have the meds piece. Nice job. Now you just have like three or four more treats. All right, Des, last one. All right. Nice job, Des. Oh, you dropped that one. There you go. All right, have a good night, Des. I'll see you later. Hi, Miss Keisha. How are you doing today, honey? I'm going to try her off with a piece of red first. No, not interested. Okay, noted. How about a piece of chicken breast? Oh, yeah. She's a fan of that. That was a big piece, too. Good thing I brought lots of chicken breast. I actually just cut up an extra couple pieces of red at the end because I thought maybe she would want it. <laughs> but apparently not. Hi, Miss Kishi. Everyone loved your pink and purple whiskers in the other video cache. They were all commenting about it. Nice job. So they all approved of your painting skills, I guess. Here's another one. No, no chicken breast? Okay. Uh, I have some pork if you want that. But I don't have any potato chips today, unfortunately. I didn't see any in the cooler. I'm going to try some red again. Nope. Chicken breast? Nice work, Keish. Alright, here's another one, Miss Keisha. I'm glad she's laying down here, too. It makes it a lot easier than having to chase her around. Man, this is a big piece of chicken breast. I wonder if she'll want it. Maybe? Oh, yeah, that's probably half a pound right there. I like that. Nice job, Keish. Very nicely done, Keisha. Very proud. Here you go. Have another. There's a little growl right there. No, not a thing. Okay, let's try a piece of red again. Here you go, Kishi. Maybe. She licked it. Spit it out. There we go. <laughs> nice job, Kish. Do I have any more pork? I do. Let's see if she wants that. Pork? No. Try again. Pork? No. How about some more red? Here you go, Kishi. You thought about it right there. You thought about it. Nope, okay. Don't get mad. I have chicken breast. No, no, listen. No, Keish. She's like, that's what you get. But as Keisha is now walking over there to her pool, looks like she's probably going to go get a drink. But I'm happy. You just saw Keisha ate quite a bit of food there. So you did a very good job, Miss Keisha. Maybe a piece of pork before you walk away? No? All right. Have a good night, Miss Keish. And then next, we have Miss Sue, which is Lakota's cage mate. Yeah, you are. Here's a, here's a treat piece to make sure you'll actually eat it. And then here comes the meds piece. I shouldn't have said that. She knows. You got it? Don't chew too much. Oh, nice job. Very nicely done. Now you just get a bunch of treats. Literally, you did the same as Lakota. I'm very impressed. All right, good work, Sue. I'll see you later. 